than I like to think. You're just sort of Go. Keep going. You just have to see the fundamentals of our life tonight. Cause I've been looking at a photograph of you, and I've been thinking about all the ways you move. This isolation got me feeling like I'm Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel and we are currently in Sevilla, Spain. Some people pronounce it as Seville. We arrived here at around 12-ish. I forgot. <laughs> we were both extremely tired because we woke up at 2.30 a.m. or 2.45 a.m. and we started our trip to the airport to London Stansted to come over here for our flight at 7. We fell asleep together like a little other couple. Yeah and now it's like 4.43 so it's about to go it's about time to go to go oh, out. It's about time to go down. Yeah it's about time to go down and get us some good food and bring it all down to our bellies. Today is just gonna be like a quick intro. Tomorrow I will do a full vlog. Let's just go around and sightsee for a little bit tonight and grab some good food. Let's go ahead. All right, everyone. So it has been a practice that on the first day of our trip where we are basically tired and we just landed, we try to soak the city in and just walk around and enjoy it with minimal videotaping or photography as much as possible. Obviously, I did take some videos, but you kind of know what I mean. We stumbled upon this paella place and the food looked so delicious. It was a blessing because after we took a nap, we haven't really eaten anything. We are definitely hungry. And the price in this one is affordable. I've been really hangry because I haven't yes, eaten have. in all day. So we finally found some paella. Like legit because we're in Spain. And I'm gonna have a big bite. I hope it's not too hot, otherwise I'm gonna burn myself. And if I do, it's worth it because I'm so hungry. Mm. Steal him. Wow, you're still on mine? What is that? Mm. It's beef. Mm. Are you happy? After filling our stomach and we are both not hungry, we went ahead and looked for a place where we can sit down and enjoy some sangria because we like some sangria. We don't really drink much but this is an exception and it was good. It was a fun night, I must say. I obviously got drunk because my alcohol tolerance is not that good but hey, this is what we came here for, to have fun and enjoy ourselves. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. there's always something to see and it kind of reminds me of home because we have that influence from the Spaniards so here we are let's continue We had some breakfast at this cute little organic place called Bayo Mio. We had avocado toast and I got some matcha green tea. Josh got his Thai latte and he keeps stealing mine for some reason. I think I'm gonna start bringing this to work. I'm gonna copy it. 
What's it called? <laughs> how do you get a copy if you don't know how to make it? Bread it's with avocado and spinach and egg. AKA a tostada. There you go. It is such a nice day here. We are enjoying our trip so much. And this is by far one of my favorite places to visit it. This sun is just so, like it makes you happy because when you live in England, it's just gloomy all the time. We're gonna have the greatest tan in the world. Already tan. The outline of a mask. Where's my mask? Yeah. On your face. When you visit Sevilla, Spain, you'll be able to see all these beautiful ceramic tiles around the city because Sevilla is known for its artisan ceramics and pottery industry. We would have brought some of these tiles back as a souvenir. We were actually looking at it. However, it would have looked really weird in our luggage. We are done with La Plaza de España. Oh, look at this tree. Yes, that'll be the tree. And we are heading to La Plaza del Toro. If you're Filipino, you probably understand what Toro means. That means it's a bull. So it's a bull ring. That's where we're heading. Or is it the, the Plaza de Pole? The pole. There's just poles inside of it. Pole dancing. Entire arena of pole dancers. And he's gonna cry because he loves animals. He doesn't want these bull to. He doesn't want to remember all the bulls that got killed in the bull ring. Murder. Brutally murdered. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to take a video of the building. Excuse me. So we went to the bull ring and unfortunately we realized that we have to pay to go inside so we decided not to. Now Josh just told me to run around this staircase, if that's what you call it, I don't exactly know. Here's Josh acting crazy as well, running after me and this might make you dizzy so I'm gonna cut it short and here I am, he found me. It was actually a workout. Found you. That was it. Somebody's armpit's gross. Yeah, my armpit is so sweaty. Like I can see people like wearing jackets, like thick jackets, and I don't know how they're surviving this because it's warm. I mean, at least for me, my armpit is sweaty, and yeah, it's vinegary. Did you smell it? You smell yeah, it? No. Smell it. Oh, you don't love me. Anyways, everyone. So as you can see on my back, these are oranges. This has been called as Sevilla's oranges because it's all all over the place. It looks very fruity and juicy and orangey, but apparently when you eat it, it's it's sour. It's not good. It, yeah, and it's not the best. So yeah, you can't try it. After walking around, I remember that empanada is also sold in Spain because we literally have the same culture. So we found this empanada place and we bought three empanadas for six euros. We had chicken, beef, and spinach in 
as a filling for this empanadas. It was so dang good. Josh can't help but eat all of it. But this is our favorite right here. It's a spinach empanada and definitely try it. It is now 3.36 p.m. and we paid 10 euros each to be able to experience the mushrooms of Sevilla. Tropol Parasol. And we are just gonna explore this and at 4 p.m. we will have experience. So let's see. height phobia and this is quite scary but I'm still doing it because it's for the experience. Look how short I Well with your two inch vertical there's no threat of you jumping so that's good. Oh wow. When you're up here you see such nice views because you're elevated. See how beautiful Sevilla is and so far so great. Not even good so great because this place is really nice. It's just nice to walk around, the sun is beaming, food is good, we're just enjoying it. There was a whole 3D experience included in our fee and it was well worth it. It's one of the most artistic and beautiful films, short films that we have seen. Definitely, definitely go ahead and try and enter Metropole Parasol. Now we are heading to dinner time. We went back to the same place that we had um, drank sangria the first day. So we had some gambas and paella, and Josh is so sad about that shrimp being killed. Rise and shine, shake For the last full day of our trip, we decided to go to this little patisserie um, place, if I'm pronouncing that right. I actually googled it and it's one of the top places to visit to get some good breakfast and oh Thank God I found this place because it was so well worth it. It was actually pretty busy when we went So we waited until we get to sit outside. This is our food We had some salmon and some bread and this right here is one of my favorite drinks ever the frozen chai tea latte I've never had it before like this and it was absolutely delicious like you should try it if you go to Sevilla and you go to this place definitely order that one I swear it's really good and we have a view of the Metropole Parasol Alright, I'm in control of this now. I'm supporting my boo's love to try to get her to cycle with me. I can't, what? What? What did you say? I didn't say anything. Pro probably don't understand. Yeah, I spoke the cyan. Anyways, what time is it? I don't know, you'll have fun. Oh, no. Almost nine. <laughs> it's <laughs> time to close up our trip to Sevilla.